hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel if you are new here my name is joseph i am a microsoft most valuable professional and a microsoft certified trainer if you have not subscribed to this channel yet please you have to support me by hitting on the subscribe button so today i want to have us look at um, a very important topic and that is the fact that people leave organization and people join right so um, sometimes admins uh, would create users and would not remember to add them to the specific groups that they ought to be in. So today I want to show you how to automate the addition of team members to teams and automate the removal of um, team member when they eventually either leave the organization or change department. So today we are going to be having a demo where we are going to be concentrating on users who are resuming to the HR department. So we want to create a group that will dynamically add those um, users to a group, uh, the group of HR, and then we we'll use that HR group to create a team dynamically, just so when people change their department, they tend to leave the team automatically. I hope that makes sense. So how we want to start that is to just add a new tab to what I have here and I will go to cmd.ms, one of my favorite, uh, C, I mean, my favorite URLs. So the next thing I will do is to click on the very first one, which is speaking to the Microsoft Entra. So if I click on Microsoft Entra now, I'm going to create a group, um, one M365 group here, and I'm going to make the membership type dynamic and I'm going to do the dynamic query to pick users whose department is going to be HRM. All right, so I'm going to groups and I'm going to go to overview. So if I click on, I mean, if I click on all, all groups now, you find out that I will have option to add a group to this. So what I want to do is all group here, and so I'll click on new group. So if I click on a new group now, so what I want to call that group is HRM. So I want to make the group because I want to convert the group to a team. So I want to make the group uh, B um, M365 group. <clears throat> All right, so I'll put it here. Then the next thing is I'm just going to put the name of the group as HRM. So that's going to be the name of the group. I don't, um, to put the description is not compulsory. So I'm just going to leave it. So this is the membership type. Here is what actually does the magic. So I'm going to put it as dynamic group. So if I put it as dynamic group, it asks me to put the dynamic query. So if I'm putting the dynamic query now, so what I want to do is I'm coming to properties and I'm saying department. So if the department of the user joining the organization is equals to uh, equals HR, I'm going to put a value here, HRM, then I'm going to click on this so that it can tell me that user the department equal to HRM. So if that, when that is done, I'm going to hit on save. So if I hit on save and then I come down here to click on create. So clicking on create now is going to create the group and the group is HRM. So I'm just going to search for it. So that's the group. So now it's possible that no user is there yet. But what we want to look at is we click on the dynamic members. If we, if we click on members, I mean members now, we may not have anybody here yet. But it's just going to take like a few seconds. And then if there are users in my organization who are already HR de already in HR department, then they will just automatically populate here. While I'm trying to wait for them to come, I want to check if the query I set was correct so I can come to dynamic query. So if I come to dynamic query now, I will see the option here that says validate rules. So if I say validate rule, if I pick up some users here, the users that are in line with the dynamic rule that was created here are going to check green for me. Why those who are not going to populate here is going to check red for me. So I'm just going to hit on add user. So what I will do is I'm going to ch choose this user. I'm going to just choose Christopher, choose Dan, then choose this guy, just these three people. And then if I hit on this, so let's see what happens. So what it means is that Christopher and uh, Evans are in HR departments while Dan Ray is not in HR department. So that's what that means, right? So the next thing I want to do is to come back to the membership type. Now that I've confirmed that the members are supposed, members or members are supposed to be here. So it is still not here yet, but what I want to do is to proceed with Microsoft Teams and see if the group that we just created is already populating in Microsoft Teams. So we are going to be picking the group 
to create the team that we want to create. So good team, the members of the group are already here dynamically, right? So we're having Chris, Evans, this person, um, jo John Doe, and then Joshua here, which is very beautiful. So the next thing we will do is to come to Teams. Uh, that is teams.microsoft.com. Then we're just going to refresh teams.microsoft.com. So what we want to do now is to create a team. And this time, when we are creating that team, we are creating it from an already existing um, M365 group just so we don't have to manually add people to the group and we'll just see these members of that dynamic group populating in teams directly so we click on teams here so the next thing we want to do is to click on add so there may just be like um so let's click on create team so there may just be a, a bit of um you know delay in handshake between the teams interface and the microsoft entra admin center but we want to risk it very quickly by clicking on um create teams option so if we do that you look at these options here but the option that you want to pick is you saying you are not creating from scratch definitely so you are going to be creating from an existing microsoft 365 group therefore you don't have that option here because these are all templates right so if you look down here you see from another team then you see from group so if we click on group here then we are going to see a uh, good thing we've already had the hrm here so we're going to hit on add so if we click on add so what happens is it's not just going to ask you to add somebody because in the hrm which is the group that we have here or the team that we have here if we come here and then we come to manage team so what happens and we click on members now then what happens is that the five members that were added to that team or that group have automatically populated here in teams and if you observe something i don't have add button here to add somebody because that group is a dynamic group and the team itself is also a dynamic team so if we come to a group like um, here let me just uh, compare this and i click to manage team you will observe something when i click on members i'm going to see the word add i mean the, the icon add member here so please i'm sure you're getting this straight if you've not subscribed to this channel please 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 help me hit on the subscribe button so that is you have the ad here but if you come to the hrm that we just created here you are not going to have that option to add member to the team here and also if you look at it you can promote the any of the members to users right so that's how it is um this is how to dynamically add people to a team so that when people resume in the organization let's say for example you have another user resuming just so before we wrap up let's just come to users and then all users and uh, i hope this is going to sync very well within the time i want this video to be but let's just hit on create a new user and we're just going to create the user and we're going to call him uh hrm that's going to be the email and the display name is just going to be hrm just because of testing and then one very important place we want to look at is to make sure that the department is hrm so once the department is hrm then the user is going to be created in entra here and automatically is going to become a member of that group so if you come to all group now um if you come to all groups then that user is going to be here in no time so even if there is a delay it's just going to take like a very little while the user is going to be here and once the user is in that group automatically then the user is going to populate also in teams so what that means is that if you remove a user from the team right from the group then it's going to automatically leave the team so that is how it is and if you change the department of a user so since the hrm guy is preparing to come here i may just wait or refresh and then you will see it so i will also quickly use the opportunity to go to events and change the department to another department so if i change his department to another department then he's going to automatically leave the team that he has been added to so what this means is that for instance a user has changed department you don't need to trouble yourself to go change the department i mean go and remove the user from the team it will just the user automatically leaves the team so just so before we go i'm going to check again the group membership uh i'm just going to the hrm group membership and then if i refresh i would expect this guy to move out of the team and then i will expect the hrm guy that we created to be here so i'm just going to do hard refresh now 
and then once i see those users here i will just go to teams to confirm it and then we can call it a wrap so um like um i mentioned before if you've not subscribed to this channel please i think it is time for you to do that now so right now hrm guy is already here but this guy the last guy that we changed is yet to go so which he will still leave so what i just want us to confirm now is to go to teams to confirm if the hrm guy is now also going to be populated here but that's going to be what will happen when you add people from entra they just get added to the team directly and not just from entry alone if you also add users from the microsoft 365 admin center um, because of that group is dynamic right you will not really have option to add member to read from the um, m35 admin center but when you create a user and make the department the right department which is the hrm department then the user is definitely going to fall into that team so i just want to confirm this one just one more time and if i have that user here fine but if i don't have it just try it out it's going to work for you you just give it some little time and then it will all be good so let's check hrm guy is already here so good thing he's already here and i will expect yes advance has gone also out of this team because his department has been changed to it so if i come to uh, this place also and i refresh i will expect advance to have left this group as well so let me just wait for that to come i'm just being persistent right just so i see like the end of this while still recording on this video and i don't want to pause the video man i just want us to see it good so Evans has gone out of this group because his department has turned to it and we've created hrm user who is having his department as hrm and then it's here and it's also here in teams so that's how it works and that's how you can dynamically remove and add members to team without uh, having to struggle to remember so this is how you can automate it so i hope you have enjoyed this video if you do please give this video a like and if you've not subscribed to this channel yet please hit on the subscribe button i hope to see you on the next episode bye for now